What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for imagination? Tom is collecting right now. Let us take you back to an age of text-based adventures. So, it goes a little something like this. I want you to visualize. Close your okay. eyes. Picture a house from the 60s. Mmm, sounds roomy. Now, picture walls and walls of shelves of games. Sounds expensive. Imagine you are surrounded by decades worth of consoles and handhelds. That sounds excessive. Oh, okay, okay, I think you got it now. And we got Colossal Cave for the Nintendo Switch. We were contacted with the offer of a key for the game Colossal Cave. We were actually given a choice between the Nintendo Switch, the PS5, you could even get this on the MetaQuest 2, or of course, PC and Mac. Naturally, what did we choose? The Switch! This is a 3D reimagining of the original 76-77 text-based adventure. Whereas back then you had one to two word commands to progress through this narrative. This controls like a standard 3D game. And it's actually a love letter to Yesteryear Gaming by Ken and Roberta Williams. Ooh, aren't those the guys that did King's Quest? Now the way you play the game is simple enough. Find treasure for points, collect all the treasure for the best ending. You may have noticed that the graphics could pass for late PS2 era, but they serve their purpose well enough. The ambient sounds are nice, and the name holds true. Because this game is huge. Oh yeah, trying to navigate that cave? Good luck. Now, the story is sparse, but the narration is fantastic. Explore the vast darkness of the mythical colossal cave and find the valuable treasures held within. Beware the many obstacles that stand in your way, and perilous encounters that threaten to end your quest quickly, but without mercy. For better or worse though, this really does feel like a throwback to the text-based adventures of yore. Games have come a long way, and despite having a lamp and compass, it's very easy to get lost and turned around. But that could be seen as a retro charm, as games didn't hold our hands back in the day. The inventory management, that can be tricky too. You only have so much space, but items can be left in place and then they show up on the map. So you can use this to your advantage either by utilizing them as place markers or leaving them in exchange for something else with a base ability to reacquire them later. On that note, there can be some quirky moments where certain things will or will not trigger based on what is in your inventory. This is a game from the old school which means there may be a lot of trial and error to figure out something as small as... Uh, like, why is that bird flying away? Maybe because it doesn't like what I'm holding in my hand. Exactly. Now, if it sounds like we're being too hard on this game, it's quite the opposite. We just want you to know what you're getting yourself into, first and foremost. Toss aside your modern sensibilities because this is a sleek time machine to gaming's past. It's a fun and new way to experience a classic game and its play style. Best of all, this is the kind of game that you could really get like a little bit of a community play or kind of a party play going on. Because when we checked it out, it was me, you, and your sister. Yeah, it's a really good way of getting a bunch of people together who think differently and can solve puzzles in a different way because one person may think of something that another person's not going to think to try. And so it's a lot of fun to just kind of group party play. In short, Colossal Cave is a solid way to revisit a very endearing era of gaming. Make sure you bring your nostalgia and lots of patience. So what about you, nerdlings? Have you played this one? Have you played the original or any other text-based adventure games? Was that before your time? Don't let us know because that would hurt. <laughs> leave those comments down below and go check out Colossal Cave. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go over to Tee Public. hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it and get so turned around. And then a dwarf pops out of nowhere and gets me with a knife. Like every <laughs> time. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. You're standing at the end of a road before a small brick building in search of adventure. All right, so um, it's roomy, expensive, excessive. <laughs> and we got Colossal Cave for the Nintendo Switch. 
sound switchy? <laughs> but you can't be yawning. Why not? Let's try that again. Yeah. It's not bringing it back. You, yeah, you're I'm bringing, bringing that. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. <laughs> She's bringing it. I'm bringing it. <laughs> I panicked. Colossal Cave is a solid way to... Goodbye, bye. -bye. <laughs>